Hello there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to another Java Let's Play video here in the Java Let's Play world in front of my mighty skyscraper. And no, I'm not overcompensating. Today, we... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, 12-year-olds. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, today, we are continuing on our quest to... Uh... build more stairs uh, oh, well to uh, continue adding floors to this beautiful building and uh, yep that that's what we're gonna do today <laughs> so birch planks Okay, all right, that should be enough birch planks to hold us over. I did this off camera. Uh, it didn't take me very long. I'm actually really beginning to, I think there's a birch forest not too far from here. And I'm beginning to wonder if it'd be worth it to uh, fly over to, well, I, don't, I could fly. Or I could run over there with the boat or whatever uh, with some... Shulker boxes and mine out a large portion of the forest for the skyscraper. It was a thought, uh, you know, I might do it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Not today, though. Today, we are just going to work on the floors. So, I, uh, so actually, Phil's coming over today. It's Sunday still. Uh, and we are gonna play Minecraft together. Now, uh, Phil has played Minecraft before, alright? Uh, and, and I'm actually gonna record this whole thing. Because it's like the first time he's played Minecraft in... Better half of a decade, probably. And, uh... So, you know, a lot's changed since he played, and... I don't... And he didn't play that much back in the day anyways, but... He wants to, you know, play along with me, and... Kyle, despite the fact that Kyle never has time to play with anybody, like today, he, he it's Easter, happy Easter, uh, <laughs> he's supposed to go, uh, to his parents, uh, he's supposed to be at home, where, uh, his mom is making a, a turkey, yeah, turkey, right, instead of ham, I don't know, I, I, well, I, I made that comment to her, and she's like, well, your uncle... Well, your uncle doesn't like, uh, I made a, well, I made a comment to my aunt, and she's like, well, your uncle doesn't like ham, he says it's too salty, I'm like, well, you gotta make your own ham, I know how to make my own ham, and, uh, I can limit how much salt there is, granted, I can only make something probably up to five pounds, or maybe a little bigger than that, after that, I think they get too big, and without, like, an injector or whatever, I can't safely make uh, a ham and give it to somebody because I it's just I feel I think it sits in the fridge too long. It's gonna build up too much bacteria. Nevertheless, though, uh, we're working on it. Ah, falling down the stairs. Actually, we were supposed to do it last night, but Spider-Man got off, uh, ended really a lot later than I was really anticipating. I mean, I knew it was going to be late, but it was pretty late. I mean, it was still light out, but by the time we made pizza and we got distracted watching uh, one of my videos and we watched I, we watched a Cody's Lab video where he made Clercy's Solution or Surly's, Shirley's, I, uh, Clercy's. Clercy's? I don't know how to say it. Point is, he made this uh, water-based solution that's got a density of 4.25, which is insane. It's actually pretty easy to make. Uh, what acid did he use? Okay, well, if I can remember the acid he used, uh, you just got to dissolve thallium in it. Um, 
Yeah, thallium's extremely toxic. I don't have any thallium. Uh, interesting thing about thallium, it's kind of like, uh, it's got similar properties and characteristics to uh, the other, to the alkali metals. Uh, which is interesting, to say the least, why it has characteristics similar to those. It doesn't catch fire and water <laughs> like the alkali metals, but it it's soft and oxidizes uh, quite well like they do. Okay, so now that we're in this new level, we're going to have to refigure out our torches. So one... Good enough. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. So I, so that's interesting. That thallium. Oh, here we are talking about elements again. Woo! My favorite thing to do. I mean, it really is. I. I do genuinely actually let's just do it this way yeah it's gonna be jank and I'll probably forget this grid by tomorrow but yeah, it'll be fine <laughs> There we go. The, the break's in the middle now. Wow, we're already. Wow, we're higher than the house now. Not higher than that yet, though. We've still got... Actually, we don't have that many floors to go. Uh, and I felt like that took a lot less time to build. Still took a lot of material. <laughs> but it felt like it took a lot less time. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let me look at the time. No, 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 not really. Oh, well, it did. It did take less time, but it still took an ungodly large amount of material that isn't hard to get. It just takes a long time to get. Oh, well. Hey, right, so back to the thallium thing. So thallium is extremely toxic, which is not... Similar to the alkali metals. The alkali metals are not inherently toxic. I mean, sodium is bad for you, but you need it to function. Uh, lithium, you can consume lithium. Is it lithium dioxide or lithium oxide? I think it's lithium dioxide. But lithium. Well, whatever they put in. Uh, well, there's it's a, it's a depression medication. They call it lithium. Uh, the water bottle, if he's watching this, he'll be able to tell me what the chemical compound is, probably, of lithium. Uh, anyways, well, in that lithium, I mean, it screws with your brain, but, I mean, it's not going to kill you. I mean, unless you take too much, but that's anything. So it's uh, it's not inherently bad for you. Uh, but thallium, though, thallium is bad. Period. End of statement. Actually, uh, Cody said that interestingly enough everybody thinks it's more toxic than it's it's it, way more toxic than anything else and that's what i thought uh but as as i watched the video he was like well thallium is it's it, it requires the same amount as uh as mercury which was like okay that's quite a bit of mercury still then which is quite a bit of thallium. Uh, the only thing about thallium is, though, it's a known carcinogen. So, um, it will give you cancer, even if you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, so even if, if you consume it, and you uh, actually, a uh, known cure for it, he said, was uh, cyanide. 
Oh, it's a type of cyanide. Sorry. Anyways, uh, which is interesting. But the whole thing about this thallium is that, you know, even if you cure yourself, you still consumed it. It still, it still probably wrecked your DNA, and you're gonna get cancer from it. So that's fun. Which is interesting that it has a known cure. Because mercury doesn't have a cure. I mean, there's chelation, but mercury, once it's done, it's, it does permanent damage. That's the thing. It, you can't get rid of it. Uh, maybe it's the same way. I don't know. I do know heavy metals, though. They... They do bad things. Oh, I didn't do this part. I'm such a yats. Why is this so much darker than it normally is, I feel like? Now, this is way smaller than I expected, anyways. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Look at that, I remembered the grid this time. I like to make sure that I get them on the edges and stuff. Because I I want this thing to look cool from the outside, so I always want there to be good lighting for the outside. It's not as good as, like, say, uh, the skyscrapers I build in Bedrock. That's because there's a lot more lighting, but this is survival. That's impractical and ridiculous. This this looks nice. Wow. Look at that. You can see right into the iron farm. That's awesome. All the sheep. The cows. Pink sheep instead of pigs. My kitty. The old chicken farm that I swear was probably causing some lag. Even though when I destroyed it, it didn't do anything. And I got rid of all my damn eggs. The whole plan was I was going to, uh, oh, I got stretch, hold on, oh, the whole plan was so that I could build, uh, I can make pumpkin pies, but pumpkin pies, they don't, they, they're just not worth it. They're a lesser known food source in Minecraft. Pumpkin pies. Because they're just, they're not practical. They're a lot of work. Kind of like cakes. But everybody knows about cakes because it's stampy. So. Stampy made uh, cakes in Minecraft famous, in my opinion. Without him, I really feel like a lot less people would would probably even do anything or use anything with cakes. Although, with candles being added to the game, uh, they make cakes way more fun because you can actually do birthday cakes. Granted, you can only celebrate uh, four birthdays and then it's over, but then... Details, details, details. And candles are actually kind of hard to get because they require beeswax. Which is a rare commodity, and you have to have silk touch to to get it. Well, I mean, I guess you could just go to wild beehives and get it that way, but... Uh, oh, wow, look at that. You can see the moon coming through the glass. That's kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah. I think I'm just going to stick with n not using beeswax for anything. We had it in Bedrock, uh, on a Bedrock Let's Play. Not Let's Play, uh, on a le in a Bedrock world, I had bees. We had a lot of bees. 
I used them as pol as they they'd help me pollinate my uh my crops, which uh, act as bro bone meal. But I had to. But we. But so. But I didn't want them flying away, and not you know doing what I want them to do. So I built a giant glass dome. This thing is huge. Uh, to in Capsulate our base and the bees. Uh, I probably can go find it actually. I, I still have the world. That's the world we beat the wither into. It was the first time I built a, uh, a villager farm too. I tried building an iron farm based off some guy's design. Didn't work. Uh, looking at it now, I would just build what I build now for an iron farm because it works yep it's a good village though it's also it's not where I it, I mean I pretty much every world I build every world I do they're all kind of the same Oh god, now I gotta go all the way down. Uh, every world I ever work on, they're all the same. Effectively. Uh, I always build some sort of iron farm of some sort. Uh, except we had to kidnap these villagers, which was not a fun process. So, there was that. That was actually Kyle's job. I went and did other things. I said, you capture the villagers, I will make a village, all right? You capture them, I will take care of everything else. And that's how it worked. That was the relationship. Oh, hello. Mr. Enderman. Don't look at me, please. Higher and higher we climb into the sky. Ah! Hole there. <laughs> you know what I've been thinking about getting? Uh, it sounds so silly. Lego Star Wars. It's, it's, I mean, it's not weird because I mean a lot of people are getting Lego Star Wars at the moment. That whole thing is, I didn't play Lego Star Wars as a kid. I, I watched uh, my one of my friends play it, but that was it. I never actually played. Gosh darn it! <laughs> uh, I never actually played it. I didn't have a way of playing it. Uh, so eh, this kind of is what it is. Wow, we are actually really close to the top. We're genuinely close to finishing this. I'll be damned. I think, can we see the village from this thing? I don't remember. There's a village out there. Probably not. Uh, anyways. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Two. This works very well. This works very well. You know what always bugs me? Since I was a kid, right? Uh, all the TV shows, they always had people going out and camping. Right? And, uh, you know, they go out to the forest or whatever. And I'm like, where are they getting this awesome looking forest? With these really nice trees. Like, all the forests around here, uh, they're just a, it's just a pasture. Bunch of tall grass that's full of freaking ticks and
bugs, and it's usually by a freaking crick, so it, there's a crap ton of mosquitoes. Uh, and you can only really do it in the summer, and in the summer is so goddamn warm and humid that you want to just die. And so it's just like, how is this? And you always think, what? but you always watch them on TV, you're like, wow, this looks, this looks really fun. Yeah, I'm sure. In California, I'm sure camping's fun. Here in Nebraska, camping is not fun. Not in the slightest. Last time I went camping, it sucked. So we were out in uh, front of Phil's parents' house. Phil couldn't join us, or he did, but he had to leave early. Kyle and I uh, spent the night in the tent, and it sucked. I got, like, no sleep. Because it was so goddamn warm. Part of the problem, it was so warm. Uh, and I don't remember if I slept on a air mattress or not. I know we... I can't remember. God, it was so warm. I do know now how to properly sleep outside. But still... There is no, it's just, it tense, and here in Nebraska, suck. And you're constantly getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Truth be told, where we had the tents really sucked, so, uh, eh. like, where we had it was the hottest part of their yard, and had the most mosquitoes, but it was the flattest ground, so, what are you going to do? But it sucked. It just... It was a terrible experience. Uh, that's kind of why we uh, we were supposed to go to the Badlands at some point and do a camping trip. It was to see stars. Now we now we just drive to Molin and call it good. Oh, look at that. We're out of wood. Uh... We just call. We just drive to Mullen and call it good. But damn, we're a few more episodes. We could be done. Is that exciting? I don't think I'm gonna add an elevator. It'd be nice, but at the same time, it'd be a pain. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Not gonna worry about it. Uh, what are we at? Okay, I guess we'll go chop some more trees down. <laughs> We don't have anything else to do, so. Maybe by the time we get to the bottom of the episode, I'll have to end. No, so I don't know. Camping in a tent sucks. Now we just drive to Bolin, enjoy the stars, and then go back. And honestly, I mean, Bolin's better, anyways, because it's a class one. Out there is a class two. So, that is what it is. But, yeah. Uh, so. I never did finish the Lego Star Wars story. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It just looks fun. Although, it's the kind of game, though, that I don't know. I'm not a combat game type guy. I'm also not a guy who plays games with storylines. I don't, if you ever notice all the games that I play, none of them have a storyline. They're all like free building based type games. So, Ark, Minecraft. Uh, well, okay. I have Among Us, but I don't play it. Oh, and then Sandbox World God Simulator, whatever it is. That, uh, that, was, that game was an impulse buy, but... Uh, it's still fun to play around with. Oh, and obviously, uh, City Skylines. So, you can kind of see why, you know, you kind of see why I, I just, it's not, I'm not an RPG type guy, which is why I have Pokemon, actually, on my, uh, on the Switch, but I don't play it. I, I played it for like three days. Probably 12 hours total. And then I got to the point where I was going to have to grind. And I'm like, no thanks. And that's kind of like... Where uh, I like watching other people play them. I think it's fun watching other people play through them. But I 
personally cannot. So, yeah. I always like watching my brother play Zelda. I didn't know what the heck was going on. But. So that's kind of where I'm at, you know. A kitty. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Meow. I will get this cat before the end of the episode. Apparently he doesn't like this cod. Cat, it's... I got him! Alright, come on, cat. Let's chop down some trees. I want to put him next to the other cat. He'll TP to there, so. It reminds me of doing it back in the olden days with ocelots in the tree in the in the forests. In the in the jungle, I should say. I mean they are a forest, but I uh I saw a what are we at for time? Yeah, I can do it. But no, yeah, Lego Star Wars. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Do you think I should get Lego Star Wars? It looks fun and, and it looks good. I just I don't know. It's not. It's just. It's it's not the kind of game that I would play. It's not my cup of tea. So. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. What are we at? 28 minutes? Alright, well let's... We'll go over time. Screw it. Why not? Right? We'll make a little bit longer episode. I gotta replant the trees anyways, so. Then we'll go to sleep, and then we'll uh, end the episode. I guess I could just end it here. Without having to do the... And then just do the... Uh... No, that's a lot more. That's a little bit more. That's, that's a little bit more work on my behalf to go and get the thumbnail later. Ugh. Definitely be different. I we don't. I don't usually do it that way. Cat, you genuinely scared me actually for a second. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like the old ways of getting the cats, because you didn't know what you were gonna get. I mean, I do like the fact that now you can kind of just you just wait for the game to give you the cat the the cat color that you want. And then, you know, life's good again. But, I don't know. This is one of the new cat killers, though, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I love how Minecraft overhauled the cats. But the dogs haven't been... I, I, I've said this before. That the dogs, everybody's favorite pet in Minecraft, uh, haven't been changed since... Uh, since they since like whatever whatever update was allowed them to change the color the collar colors which was a long long time ago and a very very old update so so like 1.6 1.5 something like that something stupid like that so as to why uh The only thing I'm worried about is this cat will try and use the waterfall 
like I will, and kill itself. No PTP to me, thank God. As long as he doesn't TP into the fireplace, we'll be fine. I might, you might be stuck downstairs. <laughs> might not be uh, in teleport range. I might not be uh, far enough away for teleport. Kill a, there was a rabbit in here and he killed it. Huh. Yeah, it just got rabbit hide. Okay. Interesting. We're quick enough to do it. Is that is that a new use for cats? Is it a rabbit hunting machine? Oh, uh, yeah, you can't TP to the carpet, can you? What? Alright, well... Hey, I'm over here! No, would you sit? Thank you. You and your friend over here. My cat collection. I do want to get a stampy at some point, but, but uh, <laughs> anyways, wow, we are actually really close to uh, finishing the second segment. Oh gosh, such everything. Anyways, I would like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New Minecraft Java Let's Plays every single Monday, 11 a.m. Central Time. And good night. Hello there. Actually, it's more of a goodbye. Um, this is my Minecraft outro. Anyways, make sure you subscribe so that we can hit our, our uh, 10k goal so we can plant 100 trees for subs for trees. Otherwise, stick around for the next 20 seconds to give me that sweet, sweet watch time.